I have a question for you. What is the Companion Animal Parasite Council and how can it help your pet? Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. Though I'm coming from the Vegas Big Show here, the National Association of Broadcasters, you know, the summer season's upon us. We have our segment called Health Beat, and this week, instead of focusing on us, we're gonna focus on the pets and welcoming two doctors that are gonna help us through it. Welcome, doctors. Hey, it's great to be with you, Con. Well, it's certainly great having both of you with us. And Dr. Carpenter, let's start with you. What is the CAPC? What does that stand for and why is it important? Hey, that's a great question. And the CAPC stands for the Companion Animal Parasite Council. And we're an independent, nonprofit group of experts. There's veterinarians like me and veterinary parasitologists like Dr. Blackburn. And we have one purpose, and that's to protect people and pets against parasites. As a matter of fact, for that reason, the one thing we recommend, and you're going to hear us say it a lot today, is every pet should be on year-round prevention. Uh, and that's why we put out as a public service these forecasts, which Dr. Blackburn will be happy to take you through. Perfect segue. Well, Dr. Blackburn, first of all, welcome to Get Connected and take it away. Well, CAPSI has, uh, based on a very, very mild winter and based on uh, a prediction by the National Weather Service uh, of a mild spring, uh, predicted that the uh, challenge rates for our pets uh, for heartworm is going to be increased this year. Uh, remember, Con, heartworm lives in the heart, but there are also stages that circulate in the dog's blood. So the mosquito takes up those stages and then transfers those stages to non-infected dogs. So the mosquito is the pivotal point. It's the key. So as that component of the life cycle or developmental cycle, we call it, uh, increases, you can see where the risk of the dog that's not infected increases. More mosquitoes, more heartworm. Very simple. Chris, what are the effects of heartworms on a dog? Uh, the effects can be devastating. And uh, for, to me, what's most devastating about heartworm disease in both cats and dogs, and it's important to emphasize that we're talking in both cats and dogs, it starts out silent. It's hard to catch those early effects. And then later on, you start seeing different symptoms, uh, tough labored breathing. And in cats, they have a little kind of lethargy or they're kind of not just doing right, as people often say. It's a different disease, but it's equally devastating. And that's why we recommend uh, we recommend preventative because it's the safest thing to do. Treatment can be both devastating to the owner and the pet, and we really want owners to get their pet on preventative. And if I could add one more thing, Dr. Blackburn outlined our forecast, and they're great forecasts, but they're kind of a broad brush stroke, really, at what we think is going to happen. If your listeners and your pet owning listeners want to really understand what's happening in their specific county, they can go to petsandparasites.org, sign up for an update in their specific county, and basically what we'll do is every month send them the new positives that are happening. And that means they can find out that heartworm disease is really a local issue and it's not something that's happening in someone else's backyard. And by the way, we not only update uh, our, um, our users on heartworm disease, but also on tick diseases as well. Well, that certainly is a great resource for pet owners, but let's talk about a preventative measures that we can keep our animals from getting heartworm. And, and I think the most important thing is to make sure that you get on a preventative. And, and that involves going to the veterinarian. And again, we love to come out and talk in a national scope, but your local expert is your veterinarian. Um, as Dr. Blackburn will point out, is even disease prevalence can vary because of topography and different microclimates, if you will, within a region. Your veterinarian knows you, he knows your pet, and he knows what's going on with parasite diseases. So go in as soon as possible and get preventative. Yeah, Con, it's just like your, uh, your physician. Your physician knows you. They know your health risks. Uh, the veterinarian knows the prevalence rates. Uh, they know the rates of challenge. They know what effect that increased temperature is going to have on transmission in your area. Uh, so the message is see your veterinarian. Please go to the website, petsandparasites.org, read up on heartworm, and then when you go have that discussion with your veterinarian, when he or she talks about options for prevention, other options for control or prevention uh, of heartworm, then you can converse with them with more knowledge. Uh, the petsandparasites.org website was put together by experts, reviewed by experts. The, the information on the website is accurate, so uh, your viewers and listeners can uh, have confidence that what they're reading is accurate. 
Well, it's certainly great having two awesome doctors getting us educated on pets' health, but let's turn our attention from heartworms now to general health as the summer approaches for all our pets. Well, one, of course, is uh, make sure your pets have plenty of water when they're outside. Make sure they're placed in a nice, shady, cool place. Remember, your pets are comfortable where you are. Don't ever leave your pets in the car with the windows up. Uh, uh, Chris, a couple of additions. No, I think you, that that's hit it. And I, I think the key thing, you know, we'd love to remind people about is there are so many things you can do for your pet, but the best ones are prevention. And that involves parasite prevention. That involves, as we talked about, good shade, good nutrition, good shelter. And go to your veterinarian to discuss all of those things, because pre prevention is everything in veterinary medicine. Well, that's certainly great advice, something we can all follow. And again, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much Tom. for having us. Certainly great talking to Dr. Blackburn and Dr. Carpenter. What great guys doing a lot to keep our pets healthy. Now we turn our attention when we come back to the New York Auto Show. What's the biggest buzz coming out of there? Cars, trucks, SUVs? We'll tell you when we come back. So glad you got to check out that clip. But listen, we've got plenty more going on here at Get Connected, our TV show. My friend and I are going to give you a glimpse of all the fun. So take it away. The sun shines bright as it moves across my face. I feel the light. And everything is in its place Ooh. I woke up feeling great Ooh. Today was made for me Ooh. And life is good the way it should The way it was meant to be Well, join us and we'll get you in the know. Check us out at GetConnected at ConTV.com and be part of the movement. <laughs>